Have you ever contemplated the factors triggering someone to commit theft? What provokes a person to overstep the boundary of another's personal space and jeopardize their safety? Today, we delve deep into the labyrinth of the human psyche, focusing on the psychological constituents that might lead individuals towards theft. Picture a complex web of determinants, each affecting the other, and together they create a sophisticated tapestry of motivations. Visualize a person who lives in a world where materialistic gains are seen as the measure of success. For many, the inability to acquire these symbols of prosperity through legitimate avenues can result in feelings of failure and inadequacy. Here we come across the term relative deprivation, a psychological paradigm that presents a sense of being less well-off than others. This often results in feelings of resentment, disappointment, and in extreme situations, theft. One cannot forget the infamous bank robber, Willie Sutton, who was reportedly driven by a potent concoction of relative deprivation and the aspiration to mirror the wealth and success of others. Next, we explore the excitement of the act itself. Some individuals turn to theft purely for the adrenaline rush it provides, a psychological phenomenon known as kleptomania. This uncontrollable urge to steal, irrespective of one's actual need for the object, can become as addictive as any narcotic, providing a thrill that some find irresistible. A case in point is Sarah, a self-confessed kleptomaniac whose story was detailed in, in a 2018 report. Sarah described theft as a method to escape feelings of hollowness and the exhilaration it provided was an addictive attraction for her. However, some individuals resort to theft out of sheer necessity. The mental strain of survival can compel people to engage in deeds they normally deem unethical. When life itself is at stake, the moral compass can go awry, leading to decisions dictated more by desperation than rationality. A fitting example is Jean Valjean, a character from Victor Hugo's Hugo's Les Miserables, who is driven to steal bread to feed his hungry family. While this is a fictional, it aptly illustrates how the compulsion of survival can lead individuals to theft. On a broader level, we also consider societal issues such as poverty, unemployment, and lack of education. These circumstances not only breed desperation, but also limit opportunities for legitimate income making theft a more appealing, appealing option. Therefore, the motive behind theft is multidimensional. It includes factors from relative, relative deprivation to kleptomania, survival pressure, and societal issues. By gaining an understanding of these elements, we can not only sympathize with those who resort to such measures, but also strive to create a society that discourages such behavior. Thus, the motive behind theft is multifaceted, encompassing factors ranging from relative deprivation to kleptomania and survival pressure. By understanding these elements, we can gain a deeper insight into what drives individuals to such desperate measures. Scene script. Diving deeper, we find the influence of social learning theory, which suggests that individuals learn from observing others. If a person grows up in an environment where theft is normalized, they are more likely to adopt the same behavior. Now consider the role of antisocial personality disorder. Individuals with this disorder often disregard the rights of others and societal norms leading to behavior like theft. Lastly, let's not forget the impact of substance abuse. Addiction can lead to theft as individuals struggle to fund their habit, often leading to a vicious cycle that's hard to break. In summary, the reasons someone might resort to theft are manifold and complex. They can range from feelings of relative deprivation, the thrill of kleptomania, the pressure of survival, the influence of social learning, the disregard for others' rights due to antisocial personality disorder, and the desperation caused by substance abuse. Understanding these factors is not about justifying theft. It's about gaining a deeper understanding of human behavior, the mind's complexity, and the factors that can lead individuals down a path they might never have chosen if circumstances were different. So the next time you hear about a theft, remember, it's not just about the act. It's also about the intricate web of psychological factors that led to it. It's about understanding that every action has a root, and sometimes that root is buried deep within the human psyche. So continue to explore, question, and delve into the depths of human behavior. Who knows what fascinating insights you might uncover next?